How did, how did you get involved with uh, taking photos for an auction house? Sure. Um, I, I have to go back way back to um, okay. my obsession, you know, with photography. I was originally an English and philosophy major at a big school on, in the East Co on the East Coast. And uh, I realized I was spending just too much time in the dark room. And I'd always loved photography and, and had been... Uh, processing my own film and printing and and but I I just kind of thought of this oh you know being a photographer that's that's like a dream job you mm -hmm. know that's a that very few people get to do that and um, you know so I I left after two years uh, at this big school you know had to do a little soul searching and and you know bounced around a little um, ended up working as a professional magician. Uh, in restaurants, <laughs> I know it's a it's a tangent. Did um, you already have a background in magicry? I, I guess I don't know what you would I, call it. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those interests that just kind of came along uh, for the ride, and I I fell into it. You had your own top um, hat, and they said, "Good, you're halfway there." <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I had the costume, I had the look. It was all no. My my grandfather had always shown me magic tricks, and oh, so wow. I was always. Uh, um, interested in in that and uh so yes i i started doing uh, restaurant magic which is as one does wait. yes yeah exactly card tricks and sure of course <laughs> uh, well-rounded life well i i had been um while i was doing that i was also you know working at a at a hotel and i was sitting with a friend one night because we were the overnight shift and she decided you know i'm going to write a book She's like, I'm, I'm, I've got to change my life. I'm going to write a book. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to school and study photography. We, we made this decision, uh, you know, the same, the same night. And I had no idea how I was going to do it, but, uh, I applied, uh, to a place out here in Santa Barbara called the Brooks Institute of Photography. At the time, there were two places you wanted to go to school. It was either Brooks or it was the Rochester Institute of Technology. And I thought, do I want, you know, do I want to live in Santa Barbara and photograph the sun, or do I want to live in Rochester and photograph snow <laughs> and cold? <laughs> so I, I managed to get out here to to do it, and and I got my degree. Now my degree is in commercial advertising photography. It was always with the goal, though, to make art. I mm -hmm. wanted the skills of a commercial photographer because, to me, it just represented the pinnacle of 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 skill in you know to be a photographer is is that just that level of control uh, that commercial photographers uh, do. And I was I was looking at work like from the Smithsonian Magazine and 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 just you know beautiful photography, and I'm like, okay. I need to be able to do that. I was already creating my kind of own art, but I just wanted, uh, I wanted that commercial level. So I got my degree at, uh, at Brooks and I, uh, again, I, I, you know, I did some assisting, which is, which is a normal route for a commercial photographer. You, you assist a, an established photographer for a while. Um, I also got into marketing for other photographers and working for photographical educational companies. I had actually been working doing marketing communications for a photographic lighting company. And then, a, uh, but uh, that kind of, I got laid off from that. And a friend of mine was like, Hey, do you know anyone who might be interested? I know you're not interested in this job, but do you know anyone who might be interested in, in, you know, coming to work for us at, the, at, at this auction house? And I'm like, you know, hold on. I think I know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how I, I fell into it. And uh, it wasn't until years later, I, was, I for, forget who I was reading, if it was Derek Sivers or someone, they, they had this concept of let your day job kind of be your patron. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you're an artist and you're, you know, as every artist is a struggling artist, um, you know, but if you can find work in a related field, uh, then that's a really good thing. And so, yes, I get, I get paid to, you know, practice my, my skills and keep my skills sharp and to, to learn on the job and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm shooting every day and 
and I never tire of it. I can always go out on the weekends, and that's more when I go out and create art, if I'm shooting on the street, or sometimes I'll I'll shoot something in the studio uh, for myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah. even the the jobs leading up to that, I mean, you were doing like lighting and everything. You were able to hone like the other technical aspects through through things that you were doing from what it sounds yeah. like. Plus, mm-hmm. the way I see it is with the auction house, you get and looking at your photography, which, like I said, explains a lot from the photography I saw. You get to take pictures of things that you would not normally have the opportunity nor the ability to set up. Like I was looking at things where you have like the death of Superman cape. You have like, um, what was it? The, uh, I think it was the mighty terror outfit or something like that. It was something, it was no, 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 no. no. Uh, it was some superhero outfit that had a big T on it. And I forget which superhero that is. Oh, oh, it, that was a uh, turbo man from jingle all the way. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Was, so not as cool as I thought it was, but, 